got word earlier this week that the uh, white, what we call the Whiting Street Abortion Clinic, which is I think called Alexandria Women's Healthcare, which until quite recently was in that building right there, landmark towers, okay, in a, a residential area, is now moving right across the street to this building, which I think is out, this is 5999 uh, Stevenson Drive, which I think is probably a, a, a building outfitted for medical uh, purposes. And there's a couple of different reasons why this is the sort of time you would want to protest a clinic especially. A lot of times a clinic will be moving because it has lost its lease or had some sort of violation uh, of the state codes or something so they have to move to a new area or maybe they've come under new ownership or something like that. Uh, all these are reasons to kind of throw the regular business of the clinic uh, into disruption for a period of time. And because abortion, even under the best of circumstances, is not a very convenient business to be in, it's the sort of time when you can more likely persuade a clinic owner, a clinic business owner, or an abortionist that it's just not worth their while to keep doing this stuff. Uh, especially if, for instance, the property owner owns more than just that abortion clinic. If they have other properties that might be in danger because of the, of the negative press you get from having an abortion clinic on the premises. So we came out here today uh, to hopefully maybe throw a monkey wrench in the plans of the clinic to move and maybe put some pressure on them. We've of course got these graphic images out here we're using. Signs that say coming soon that uh, show everybody passing by, especially those who might be clients of the tenants in this building. Like for, there's a dialysis center in this building, there's other, there's other medical offices, people that might be clients, customers hey, there's an abortion clinic moving in, doesn't that make you feel uncomfortable? Because it should, you know. There are people who won't frequent businesses because of abortion clinics, because they just, it just makes them uncomfortable. Plus, the presence of pro-lifers outside, often with signs like this, often trying to talk to the customers who want to be left alone. Sorry, <laughs> we, we don't know who's coming here for an abortion. It makes people uncomfortable in these businesses, and that puts pressure on the businesses, which then puts pressure on the landowner to get rid of the abortion clinic if, if it, they're not, if it's not worth his while, if it's not worth the money. We also have literature we're giving out to people uh, if they're stopping on the road, if they're driving in. Uh, I think as we're about to leave, one of our friends will put literature in all, each of the cars in the parking lot here. And you, I don't know if you can see that sign back there. Uh, it says office space, small sites available. That is uh, the company that owns the property here. It's called Commercial Real Estate Associates Incorporated, and their number is back there. It's seven seven zero three two one two two zero zero nine. And we're urging people to call them and just leave either just talk to somebody or just leave a message after hours and say, hey. I was going to be a customer here, but I'm not right now because I'm uncomfortable with the abortion center. Or even if you're not a customer, say, hey, you should not let this place move. You should get rid of them and get your, get your hands clean from this dirty business. And so this is an important thing to do. Uh, keep an eye on when abortion clinics are moving because that's probably the best time to uh, persuade them to just, for their own personal needs, personal advancement, just get out of the abortion business, you know. Uh, besides the clinic owner and the abortionist, also the clinic workers, because of the change, might say, hey, this is time for a change for me. You know, I've been doing this for a while. The heck with it anymore. I don't need, I don't need the frustration of coming into work every day and have to justify what I do. So, um, as you can see, we got some friends out here today. Say hello, Caroline. Hey there. Say hello, Jessica. Hi. Hi. So this is dirty business, but we're glad to do it, and we hope that you also keep an eye on where abortion clinics might be in your area, and when they're moving especially, uh, make sure that you get out there and apply appropriate pressure, and maybe get the place shut down. And if there's other, if there's other ways that you have been successful doing this in your own hometown, please leave a note in the comments. Please subscribe to Anti-Abortion Advocacy, uh, DC Area Anti-Abortion Advocacy on uh, YouTube, and like our Facebook page by the same name, and then come out in the streets and help us uh, End abortion, protesting every day, every every week, take the 2% challenge, 2% of the week dedicated to fighting abortion, and make a difference and an impact because you, you do have great power when you're out speaking the truth uh, resolutely, intelligently, and without fear. Thank you very much. God bless. Well, we had a man pull up uh, into the parking lot, and he came over to talk to me. 
said he was uh, very much pro-life, uh, appreciated what we were doing, but he wanted to know why we were in front of this building instead of the apartment high-rise where the abortion clinic is. And I told him that the abortion clinic is moving into this building next month. He had not heard that. Turns out he is a business owner in this building, and he said that he was uh, not going to stay in that building uh, because of that, that wow. he would uh, uh, vacate as soon as possible because he won't tolerate being in a building where abortions are being done. Mm -hmm.